محمد فروم موراكو هلو يس محمد I want to ask you a question about uh, the so-called Islamic banks in Morocco. They are called participating banks. Okay. Uh, they make you, uh, if you want to get, for example, an apartment, they make you to, to sign a document before the bank gets full ownership of the thing. Okay. So is it permissible to, okay. to go to a bank and sign that uh, document before uh, I mean, the bank gets the full ownership? Okay, I will answer you, inshallah. Uh, Brother Muhammad's Uh, question and he's from Morocco is about what is called Islamic banks and I have spoken about Islamic banks so many times not every bank that puts Islamic to its name or title is truly Islamic a lot and I'm re-emphasizing this and reiterating it a lot of banks are not Islamic They have a Sharia board with PhD holders, with names and, 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 and famous maybe, but they just simply sign on what is on paper. They don't know what's going on in reality. They don't go into the transactions of the bank. So they sit in their big offices and the bank, the corporate banking comes to them and say, we have this scheme, this Islamic window And it goes like this and that. And the sheikh looks into it. He says, okay, this sounds okay. He signs and puts his stamps. Of course, he gets usually a big bonus at the end, not to discredit him. A'udhu billah. He's a good scholar. He is reliable. But it's not sufficient to give the fatwa without going into details, especially if they're going to use your name. Your name is an asset. My name is an asset. If people use it, and I'm unaware of it, and look the other way, around, uh, uh, um, this is not the right thing to do. The scholar is supposed to go and check the transactions because they have his signed fatwa, but they're not implementing it to the letter. They are bending the rules bits and pieces here and there. So what's happening is, like Brother Muhammad from Morocco, I go to the bank and I say, listen, there's this house, there's this villa, that I'm interested in buying. And they said, okay, how much is it? It said it costs one million dirham. So I said, okay, sign papers here that you're willing to pay it over the duration of 20 years and we will charge you 1.5 million dirham with a percentage of 50% and make a commitment that you are agree and you are liable in front of the law that you will buy it from us once we have acquisition of it. And you sign. This signature itself means that they are selling you something they do not possess. Because if you ask them, okay, before I sign, do you own the property? They say, no. Once you sign, we're going to buy it. Okay, if you're going to buy it and you're certain that I'll be forced to buy it from you, might as well give me the money in cash and let me buy it and I'll give you the uh, half a million interest over the period of 20 years. This is not permissible. And I personally ask Sheikh bin Abd Aziz bin Baz and Sheikh Mohammed bin Uthaymeen about this issue decades ago. And they told me that this is totally prohibited. There must be no obligation. Someone comes to me and say, Sheikh Hasim, I'd like to buy this beautiful uh, uh, car but I don't have money. So I said, okay, how much is it? He says, 200,000 reals. I said, okay, if I buy it for you, will you be committed to buying it from me with a percentage? He said, definitely. He says, okay, give me your guarantees. Give me two witnesses. S swear by Allah, sign a paper or document or give me a down payment of 20,000 reals. Any type of commitment makes the deal haram and Allah knows best.